Hello friends welcome to my youtube channel my name is Mohammad Sohil and today's we are going to learn oral contraceptive agents from medicinal chemistry to unit 4 before we start today's session it's my request to all of you if you people have not subscribed my youtube channel yet please do subscribe and hit the bell icon so you never miss any update from my youtube channel so without any further delay let's begin with our today's session of all what do you mean by oral contraceptive oral contraceptive are medicines taken up by mouth to help to prevent pregnancy they are also known as birth control pills there are two types of pills first the combined pills and second the progestogen only pills first the combined pills combined pills is the combination of an estrogen with progesterone combined pill formulation may be monophasic that is each tablet contain a fixed amount of estrogen and progestin second biphasic each tablet contain a fixed amount of estrogen while the amount of progestin increases in the second half of the cycle third triphasic the amount of estrogen may be fixed or variable while the amount of progestin increases in three equal phases the estrogen found in most combined preparation is ethinyl estradiol. The progesterone may be nor ethesterone, levonorgestrel, ethinodiol. These are most potent with less androgenic action but greater risk of thromboembolism. The estrogen content is generally 20 to 50 mg of ethinyl estradiol. Preparation is chosen with the lowest estrogen and progesterone content that is well tolerated and gives good cycle control in individual women. The combined pill is taken for 21 consecutive days. Normal cycles of menstruation usually commence fairly soon after discontinuing treatment. Now what is the mode of action? Estrogen inhibits secretion of FSH via negative feedback on the anterior pituitary thus suppresses development of the ovarian follicle. Progesterone inhibits secretion of LH and thus prevent ovulation. It also makes cervical mucus less suitable for the passage of sperm. Estrogen and progesterone act in concern to alter the endometrium in such a way as to discourage implantation. There are some beneficial effects of this. The combined pill markedly decreases menstrual symptoms such as irregular periods and intermenstrual bleeding. Iron deficiency anemia and premenstrual tension are reduced. Uterine fibroids and functional cyst of the ovaries. There are some common adverse effects of this such as weight gain owing to fluid retention or an anabolic effect or both. Second mild nausea, flushing, dizziness, depression or irritability. Third skin changes example like acne or increase in pigmentation. Now moving forward to the next type that is the progestone only pills. The pills is taken daily without interruption. The example of these pills are norethesterone, levonor, gestrol or ethinodiol. Now the first drug is levonor gestrol. This drug combined with an estrogen to make combination birth control pills. It is useful within 100 to 120 hours of unprotected intercourse more time that has passed since intercourse the less effective the medication becomes and it does not work after pregnancy that is implantation it is effective for the long-term prevention of pregnancy now what is the mode of action it works primarily by preventing ovulation and closing of the cervix to prevent the passage of sperm there are some side effects of this drug nausea, breast tenderness, headache and increase, decrease or irregular menstrual bleeding. The dose of this drug is 100 to 250 for monophasic and 50 to 125 for triphasic. Now the second drug is Mephipristone. This drug typically used in combination with misoprostol to bring about an abortion during pregnancy. 
This combination is 97% effective during the first 63 days of pregnancy. It also effective in the second trimester of pregnancy. The mode of action of this drug is it acts as a competitive progesterone receptor antagonist. Mifepristone is an anti-progestogen. It works by blocking the effect of progesterone, making the cervix easier to open and promoting contraction of the uterus when exposed to misoprostol. The side effect of this drug is abdominal pain, feeling tired and vaginal bleeding, birth defect if the pregnancy does not end. The dose of this drug is 2 mg daily to prevent ovulation and 200 mg for medical abortion.